I am Anil Kumar sharing the passion of mathematics. Students in any part of the globe can now be connected. We may be in different continents. How does that matter? Share the passion of learning. Stay ahead of the competition. Join Anil Kumar classes. Ignite the spark of learning. I can provide you online help in very simple language to make you understand the concepts and solve difficult test questions also. Here is an example where the student wants to learn about trigonometric double angle formula application. Yes, uh, you can see what the question is. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not sure if it said simplify or solve or what it was, but the question was 0 0.25 sine x cos x. Sine x cos x, correct? Yes. What is it? Oh, 0 0.25 sine x cos x, you have to simplify this, right? Yeah. So 0 0.25 is like 1 over 4, right? So you can write 1 over 4 sine x cos x. Is that clear to you? Yeah. But you know the formula that 2 sine x cos x is sine 2x, right? Yeah. Is equal to sine 2x, correct? But you are given 1 by 4 here, right? So you are given 1 by 4. So what you could do is you could multiply by 2 and you could divide by 2, right? So that means you are not changing the equation. It still remains the same. Perfect? Yeah. Perfect. Since it remains the same, I mean, uh, what you could do here, because this is 1 4, right? So this is 1 over 8, right? So because this part here, 2 sine x cos x is sine 2x. And half times 1 by 4 is 1 by 8, correct? Yeah. And therefore, you can simplify the given expression. Does it make sense? Yeah. So we can now write that 0 0.25 sine x cos x is equals to 1 over 8 sine 2x. Did you get the same thing in the exam? No. Okay. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So but um, that is what it meant really. Yeah. Okay. Any other question? Yeah. So this one says find all solutions. And so the equation is 3 cos 2x minus okay. cos. Question. Okay. Next question. Let me clear the screen. Okay. So question number two is find all solutions find all solutions right what is the question for you three cos 2x minus cos x plus two is equal to zero three cos 2x minus cos x plus two equals to zero right that is the question right three cos 2x minus cos x plus two equals to zero so what you should do is that you should write this equation in only one parameter which is cos x, correct? So, do you remember the formula, double angle formula for cos 2x? Yes, but which one should we use here? Does it really matter? It's a good question. So, so we have three formulas. So, one is cos square x minus sine square x, correct? One is 2 cos square x minus 1, and then we also have 1 minus 2 sine square x, correct? Yeah. So, these are the three formulas. Since the equation is in cos, you should definitely use the second formula, which is 2 cos square x minus 1, right? So let us uh, replace uh, cos 2x with, with 2 cos square x minus 1. What do you get then? What do you get? Expand 6 cos square x minus 3 minus cos x plus 2 equals to 0. Uh, you can now simplify, right? 6 cos square x minus cos x minus 1 equals to 0. Can you help factor this equation? Help me in this? Yeah, so should we use the quadratic formula here? Oh, you can directly use quadratic formula. Or you can try factoring, right? Because, see, the product of two numbers, p and q, is 6 times minus 1, which is minus 6. And the sum of these two numbers should be minus 1, right? So you could try 3 and 
3 times 2, but 3 being negative, right? So you can write this as 6 cos square x minus 3 cos x, right? Plus cos x, 2 cos x minus 1 equals to 0. So now here, 3 cos x is common, correct? Yeah. So you get 2 cos x minus 1, and you already have 2 cos x minus 1 as the other two terms, right? So 2 cos x minus 1 becomes a common thing. Factor, we get 3 cos x plus 1 as the other factor. So now, are you given any domain 0 to 2 pi or it is general solution? What is the question? Yeah, so the beginning of the test said everything was from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so let me just include that now here. So we are saying that x is between 0 to 2 pi. Right? So we are given the domain which is from 0 to 2 pi. Now within that domain, the first term, which is 2 cos x minus 1 equals to 0, gives you cos x equals to half. And the other term, cos x plus 1 equals to 0, gives you cos x equals to my, or 3 cos x. 3 cos x plus 1 equals to 0 gives you cos x equals to minus 1 by 3, correct? Yeah. Now see, from cos x equals to half, you get two solutions. So you should actually at this stage, as you know, actually, uh, you can see the solutions. You know the cost rule. Yep. Yeah. So, so clearly, we are expecting solutions in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 2. Four. And since it is half, we can always sketch a special triangle, correct? Which is pi by three, so one, two, square root two, correct? So you know half is for pi by three, right? So this acute angle right there is pi by three. And the other acute angle is this one, correct? Yeah. So two pi minus pi by three. So that means what? 5 pi by 3, correct? Yeah. So those are the two solutions here for the from the first equation. We get x equals to pi by 3 and 5 pi by 3, correct? Now, for minus 1 over 3, we know that those two solutions should be in quadrant? 2 and 3. 2 and 3. You need to use the calculator, right? So can you use the calculator to tell me what x is cos inverse of 1 over 3? Just find cos inverse of 1 over 3, right? So we'll write this as alpha for now. Is it OK? So what do you yeah. get? Alpha value get cos inverse of 1.23. 1. 1. Pardon? 1.23. 1. 1.23, right? But our solution here is what? Is pi plus 1.23 and pi minus 1.23, correct? So that gives you two values of x, and they are pi plus 1.23 and pi minus 1.23, okay? And that other value is 4.37. When you do this addition, right? Yeah. Correct. Right. So those are the two values, which will be your answer. So use calculator and write down four solutions for this, right? You have four solutions. So we have x equals to pi by 3, pi, pi by 3. What do you get? Pi plus 1.23 is how much? 3.14. 4.37. And less 3.14 minus 1.23, how much do you get? 1.91. Radians, right? So all this in radians is your solution for the given equation. Is this absolutely clear? Perfect. So, you can erase this. Any other question? Uh, no, that's all. That's all. Okay, great.